Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be going over four very American expressions and we're going to be talking about the pronunciation, the linking, and the reductions, if any, that exist in these phrases. So if that's something you're interested in, then please stay tuned. So to my subscribers, welcome back, you guys. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Victoria, and I post for those of you who are looking to master the American accent. So if that's you, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, and YouTube will let you know when I've posted new content. So our first expression is hit the road. So this means you're going to peace out, you're going to leave. And it's definitely a more informal expression. And so you might use it if you're hanging out at your friends and it's getting late and you might say, eh, I'm going to hit the road. I've had a long day. So let's talk about linking and articulation. So hit the road. The first thing I want you to notice is that vowel on hit is a relaxed I sound. Next, the link between hit and the is important because I'm not saying hit the, I'm saying hit the, hit the. So there's an unreleased T on the word hit. The I'm saying with a schwa, so there's our reduction. And then road has that tense O vowel. So hit the road. Our next common expression is not a big fan. And to be honest with you guys, the first time one of my clients asked me about this expression, it's just so programmed into my brain that I really, I didn't even get why it's a weird expression, but it is because we use not a big fan to mean I'm not a fan of something at all. I don't like that. So are you into horror movies? No, I'm not a big fan of them means I don't like them. So it is just kind of funny that we say I'm not a big fan because you're not a fan, period. But anyhow, let's look at the vowels in not a big fan. So four words and four vowel sounds, right? Our first vowel in not is that low back ah uh, sound. Our next word is up. Uh, that's a schwa. It's got to be really, really, really short. And tell me how I'm linking not with a uh, when I say nada with an alveolar flap. So that's real important. Next up, the word big has a lax i sound. And our final word fan is that nasalized a ah sound. So we had our link on nada. We had all of our vowels. And then the last thing I just want you to remember is that a uh, is becoming reduced. So it would be totally inappropriate to say a. I'm not a big fan unless you were speaking word by word for emphasis. So I'm not a big fan of that. Our next expression is up my alley. Up my alley. So that means that you like something, that you're into it. So if someone said, do you like photography? You could say, yeah, that's right up my alley. So let's look at the sounds in right up my alley or up my alley. So up has that lax a uh, sound. My alley, this part's kind of tricky. So three tense vowels going on there. My alley. So the first one, I, links right into alley. So the y of my bops over to alley. So it sounds like one word, right? My alley, my alley. The second syllable in that combined word would be a, my ya, li. And then the third vowel would be a tense, e. No other really interesting links going on up my alley, other than the up and the my being as close together as possible without a release on that p. And then the last really common expression is make it to make it to. So if you're out at a restaurant and your friend orders a pepperoni pizza, you might say to the waiter, actually make it to, meaning I'll have what my friend is having. So let's look at the vowels and make it to. So the first and the last vowels are tense. So the very first one is a in make. It you can really think of it both ways. You can conceptualize it as a really short lax i, or you can conceptualize it as a schwa. Honestly, at a certain point, those almost become so close together that there's an overlap. So it doesn't really matter 
how you think of it as long as you're really, really reducing that word it because it's not important. And then the final vowel to is that diphthongized moving u sound. So just for this one, make sure that you're not saying tu. It's not a u, it's not a pure u sound. It's really slightly moving. Our lips only need to be involved at the end of the word u, at the end of the vowel, I mean, tu. So please make it tu. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, please give it a like, please share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.